Hey guys, uh, Tuesday, another week. I'm just gonna fly through our home workout. So mobility work, um, two, three rounds as always with the mobility work and as I keep saying in the videos and stuff guys, try our best to stick with the mobility work as much as you possibly can. Try and set aside 10, 15 minutes of flexibility mobility work every single day if possible. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do today is our frog stretch. Okay, so frog stretch coming down onto your knees, trying to get our knees nice and wide. Okay, heel in line with the knee, then pointing your toe up towards your body, coming down onto your forearm, keeping that back nice and straight, squeezing your glutes, tucking your pelvis under, and then just sitting those hips back towards your heel, get into that end range, where you feel comfortable, feel the stretch, but comfortable. Okay, and you're gonna hold for between 45 seconds to a minute, trying to go a little bit deeper, a little bit wider every time with that. Then we're just gonna go into a quad stretch. So a couple of versions or ways of doing a quad stretch. We're gonna obviously do it standing. We can do it in this half kneeling position. So one leg out in front. If I'm gonna do my right side, I reach behind, grab my right foot, pull my heel in towards my bum, keep my hips in line, squeezing my glute, glutes, rib cages down, and then tucking my pelvis under as I lean forward into the stretch, getting a nice big stretch all down the front of the quad. And again, we can do that with our um, knee and hand on the bench like we would normally in the gym. So loads of options just to get the quad stretched. And then last thing we're gonna do is just some hip openers. So again, we're just gonna start off down in this half kneeling position. Okay, so if I'm gonna do my right side, my left hand comes on the ground beside. Okay, I'm gonna lift that back leg up. Okay, from there, I'm gonna try and push that knee out. Okay, and then I'm just gonna lower my chest down towards the floor. Good way to kind of gauge it is if you hold onto your arm like that, keep your forearm parallel to the floor and then just try and slide it down along your arm. So you're trying to get that down to, uh, to lie and sit on the ground or as close to it as you possibly can. Okay, so lifting that back leg up and then lowering down all the way right down, keeping that knee out and the hips and we're gonna feel it high up on the outside probably gonna feel it a little bit wrapping around into the high hamstring as well. So you'll hold that for between 30 and 45 seconds as well. After that, it is into our Mekon. So Mekon is for time. Okay, so today it is for time. We have a buy-in and a cash out on this one. So your buy-in is 70 double unders. So it's a lot of double unders, it's 70 double unders or 120 single skips. Okay, so 70 double unders or 120 single skips. Once you've that done, then it is five rounds for time. Okay, so five rounds for time, there's quick body weight movements. It is 10 lunges, 10 squats, 10 sit-ups, five burpees. Okay, so lunges are alternating lunges. You can do them front or back, whichever you are, uh, whichever your preference is. So stepping back, knee down to touch, two feet back together, alternating down touch or we can do them forward okay so this is all body weight so it's 10 lunges then into 10 body weight squats get into your normal squat stance all the way down keep those knees driven out okay keeping your chest up as much as you can okay from there driving back up all the way up and down okay so whatever version of our best version of the squat that you can do range of motion and stuff like that so you can do 10 of those then dropping down into onto the floor for 10 sit-ups again whatever version of sit-ups you normally do okay whether that is knees bent legs straight okay try and make them the most difficult version you're able to do okay all the way up controlling yourself down so keeping my core engaged all the time, I will do 10 of those, and then I will do five burpees. Again, that is chest to floor, straight arm or off an elevated platform. Okay, so it's all the way down. Jumping in, when you jump up on your burpees, try and jump your feet wide. Okay, it just takes a little bit of the pressure off your knees and stuff, and then up. Okay, so, or same when we're doing an elevated or straight arm. So okay, so it is five rounds of 10 lunges. 10 squats, 10 sit-ups, five burpees, five rounds of that, and then once you have that done, you cash out again with 70 double unders or 120 single skips. So it's all for time. So you've got a buy-in of 70 double unders, okay, 120 single skips. Then you've got five rounds of 
10 lunges, 10 squats, 10 sit-ups, five burpees, and then you cash out, okay, with the same 70 double unders or 120 single skips. That's it, guys. That is Tuesday. Hope to see you on Zoom. If not, try and catch up. Get the workouts done as much as you can. It will stand you. It will make getting back to the gym that little bit easier. Talk to you then.